I've given myself some time to think about this, and I hope it doesn't come off as a rant. But it's important, and it needs to be talked about. I was recently told that I'm irresponsible for having guns in the house with my two young boys. In fact, there seems to be a lot of people that are shocked by the idea of mixing children and guns in any way. So let's talk about that, and let's talk about what my responsibilities really are. Obviously, children can't take care of themselves, so you're responsible for the safety of the children in your care. You. Not the system, not the government. You. It is also your responsibility to protect them from people that might wish them harm. Not the police, not the community, you. Let's start with hazards in your house. If you ever have children in your house, whether they're under your direct care or not, it's your responsibility to make sure they don't have unsupervised access to any item in your house that may pose a risk to their safety. Now, firearm accidents are an all-time low, but one is too many, particularly if it's your child. If you have kids in the house and your gun is not in your direct control, it needs to be locked away. Don't rely on hiding places or high shelves. A curious kid can be incredibly resourceful. Lock it away. Use a safe, use a cable lock, whatever. But even when it's locked away, that's not enough. You need to educate your children in gun safety, and you need to recognize their natural curiosity for all things forbidden and disarm it by allowing them supervised access in a safe and responsible manner. And when dangerous things are around, be it a firearm or a swimming pool, continuous, uninterrupted supervision means just that. I only looked away for a second is heard far too often after an accident. Now for the second part people that wish your child harm. I hope you never have to defend your child from anyone that wishes them harm, and the odds are pretty good that you'll never have to. But if you want to bet your child's life and well-being on those odds, you are irresponsible. If you don't have a plan to protect them, you are irresponsible. A cell phone is not a plan. Calling the police is not a plan. Locking your doors is not a plan. And frankly, owning a gun is not a plan. Look, all these things are good and should be done. And I own firearms for the purpose of protecting my family. But just owning a gun is not a plan. In fact, if you own a gun for the purpose of protecting your family and you haven't received the training in the use and safe handling of that firearm, you are irresponsible. It's really very simple. The risk posed to your children by firearms stored in the house is very real, but easy to mitigate, and I've taken those steps. I would do anything to protect my children, and I'm sure you can say the same, but if you don't have the tools, the training, and the plan to protect your children, it's nothing but words. So am I irresponsible because I keep guns in a house with small children? It would be irresponsible if I didn't.